old heads complaining but don't want to cheat Right, just right to report to I come from the streets God raised his son from the pavement Righteous man, live around some cavemen God raised his son from the pavement Righteous man, live around some cavemen God raised his son from the pavement Righteous man, live around some cavemen the supremacist mentality is an instinctual survival tactic used to prolong the existence of the made man of 6,000 years. In this video, we dive into the science of the supremacist mentality as a survival tactic and the technology employed to carry it out. Trignology. Trignology is a type of deception where one mixes truth and lies in order to take advantage, manipulate, and dominate. Often associated with the use of technology in fields of academia to impose a belief system based on a false foundation. According to the Oxford Living Dictionary, trignology is defined as follows. The techniques of deception and manipulation employed by a dominant group, especially the white majority, to disempower a weaker one, especially the black minority. Innovative techniques or technology, especially for recording or performing music. Did you catch that? Within that definition was the use of technology. It's a blatant lie mixed with the truth. The truth is technology includes deception and manipulation employed by a dominant group. The idea of white majority and black minority is a lie especially from the global perspective. The projection of a white majority is a psychological defense mechanism at the conscious and unconscious level used to cope with the fact that whites are the minority on the planet and are genetically unable to produce color. There will be a majority minority, which is nonsensical. There will be a white minority if the non-white, if the black, brown, red, and yellow people are here they will be the majority and whites will be the minority you see and it's a logical illogical statement to talk about a majority minority i mean which is like white supremacy i still have to put myself on top i have to pose that i am genetically superior uh, to compensate i say it's a compensation for a genetic recessive status how does devil come about? In the Quran, in the 30th verse of the second chapter, it reads, And when thy Lord said to the angels, I am going to place a ruler in the earth, the angels said, to their Lord, wilt thou place in it such as make mischief in it and shed blood? And we celebrate thy praise and extol thy holiness. Allah said, surely I know what you know not. Here is the Lord of the angels saying, I am going to place in the earth a ruler, somebody who is going to give rules and guidance to the people of the earth. And the angels questioned God saying, wilt thou place in it such as make mischief in it and shed blood the angels saw that what was about to rule the earth would be one who would make mischief in the earth and cause the shedding of blood if beloved listeners Allah is the author of peace and not of confusion. 
He is the author of justice and righteousness and truth. But here is a ruler coming to the earth that is going to make mischief in the earth and cause the shedding of blood. Right there is the making of a devil. Because God is not a mischief maker. Then some of the traits and characteristics of a devil is that a devil makes mischief. And this making of mischief, putting brother against brother, man against man, causes the shedding of blood. Well, if Allah is the author of peace and Islam is peace and it invites us to the abode of peace, then he who causes the shedding of blood is an opposer of the principles of peace. Therefore, that opposer, that adversary is rightly called Shaitan, Satan, or devil. According to Dr. Frances Cress Welsing in her groundbreaking book, the ISIS papers, Keys to Colors. Any neurotic drive for superiority usually is founded upon a deep and pervading sense of inadequacy and inferiority. This is the psychological basis for racism and white supremacy. The genetic basis for white supremacy, according to Dr. Welsing, rests on the fact that the state of color absence acts always as a genetic recessive to the dominant genetic factor or color production. So what is the reason why the supremacist mentality exists? According to scholar Neely Fuller, the goal of the white supremacy system is none other than the establishment, maintenance, expansion, and refinement of world domination by members of a group that classifies itself as white. How do you begin making devil? You start with truth yes, sir. and then you alter it. You graft on it. You add into it. You yeah. take away from it. Yeah. But what would make a man do something like that? What kind of heart and mind must a man have to alter truth? What is the purpose? Don't you know if we have equal knowledge, I can't rule you. You can't rule me. We are brothers. Brotherhood means equal. If I have a desire to rule my brother, if I have a desire to be lorded over my brother, all I have to do is conceal a testimony of truth that Allah has revealed for the people, hide it from the people. And if I hide the truth from you, I hide the power that enables you to overcome obstacles. If I hide the truth from you and keep it for myself, I can see the obstacle that you can't see. And I'll always get over my obstacle and leave you stumbling in the dark because I want to be over you. That means I'm a devil. Why am I a devil? Because if God wants all men to be free, all men to be justified, all men to be equal. And when I say men, I'm speaking of man and woman. I better say it then. God wants all men and women to be free, justified, and equal. You got the, the message. When anyone hinders a testimony from Almighty God, from reaching your ears and your heart that would free you from ignorance and allow you to stand up like men and women and evolve to your fullest potential, then that person who hides that testimony is a devil and opposer of God's will for you. Yes, America has become a habitation of devils. Yes, yes. How can you tell, Farrakhan? Because Jesus said, Go ahead now. Yes. You shall know the truth. Yes, sir. And the truth shall make you free. Yes. How come you're not free? You don't know the truth. How come you don't know the truth? Every time a man rose up to tell you the truth, they would kill that man to hinder you from getting the truth. 
looking at why do white people behave in the way that they do. Uh, do you see in concluding that it has to do number one with their minority status on the planet their genetic recessive status in that they could experience genetic annihilation in that the overwhelming majority of people on the planet are black brown red and yellow and whites constitute fewer than one tenth of the people on the planet according to Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. The Caucasian has implemented a number of peculiar psychological defense mechanisms resulting from numerical inadequacy and genetic color inferiority. White supremacy is not built on overt or blatant racist actions. On the contrary, people who take part in the perpetuation of white supremacy in this way are ostracized by their own white brethren. The reason being that it is not the passive aggressive way that has proven most effective in promoting domination without retaliation. Many people can recognize the explicit kind of conscious dislike type of racism, racist jokes, racist expressions, the KKK. But I wanna speak to, I wanna help white people see the everyday racism that's embedded and that we participate in. And I wanna look at neighborhood and school segregation as an example. I'm gonna start with this app here. These are the app's founders. It's a new app called The Sketch Factor. And what it does is when you go to a new city, you can put in where you are and it tells you which neighborhoods to avoid because they're sketchy. And of course, sketchy is very much associated with race and class in, in the white mind. And so now we have the convenience of segregation through an app. We don't actually have to talk to other white people about, you know, where are the good neighborhoods and the bad neighborhoods. And that good neighborhood, bad neighborhood, good schools, bad schools discourse is an example of new racism. My brother, um, he, there was this chance for them to go into gate and he wanted to do the test, and the teacher told him not to. The teacher was like, no, you shouldn't. You're not going to be able to pass it. But he did it anyway, and he passed it, and he's in gate right now. What was really sad is that teacher went to the people from gate and asked them, what's wrong? Like, there has to be a problem with that test, because this kid cannot, could not have passed that test. So she went along, she actually went to like some administrators and told them, you know, this kid cannot be there, like there has to be a problem. And she was really mad and she like, even the first month she kept until asking like, how is he doing? Because she did not believe my brother was capable of doing it. He was always kind of like, well, you know, like there was always something for that teacher to put him down. And he had a really low self-esteem. And I mean, I really, it's hard for me to, I don't know what to tell my brother. I, I just, he's so young, he's nine years old. And what am I supposed to tell him? Like, you're supposed to deal with it? What am I supposed to tell him? Like, he can't stand up for himself. The truth is that black people, by nature, prefer freedom, justice, and equality over retaliation. However, there is a deep psychological fear of black retaliation for centuries of abuse. Thus, passive-aggressive racism is the only hope in delaying such a reaction. The oppressor can be outspoken against racism while promoting it subtly under the guise of a helper or a friend. This frenemy comes in the form of a nurse who suggests birth control after your first baby, or the teacher who starts your history with slavery. To maintain the supremacist system, the provocateur will make overt racism seem like the only type of racism, when in fact, covert racism has been the most commonly encountered during their 6,000 year existence. Remember, they didn't just come to America and start killing Native Americans. They learned from them, broke bread with them, stole from them, claimed ownership, then killed them for imposing on their newly discovered land. The supremacist mentality follows the motto, if you can't do the evil behind their back, tell a white lie and do it in their face. Just letting you know what they do to manipulate you, but they manipulate you from weakness within yourself. So, 
Let's not make a devil. I tell you, if you really want to withstand all of this, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, acquire the spirit of humility. You know what humility is? It ain't acting humble. It ain't bowing when it ain't necessary to bow. Being humble is a state of mind where you don't think more of yourself than you should. I don't see myself as better than any of you. That's the truth. And that's why when I shake your hand, you tell me I'm honored to meet you. I say it right back to you. I say, brother, I am honored to meet you. And I'm not jiving. Because I know who I'm meeting when I meet you. I'm meeting a unique creature of the God that never was before and never will be again.